Bismillah, alhamdulillah, salatu wassalamu ala rasulillah. This is your brother Abdul Wahab Salim with the daily reminder. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَاللَّيْلِ إِذَا يَغْشَى وَاللَّيْلِ إِذَا يَغْشَى Of course, every single one of us has either memorized this surah or has heard it numerous times, rather innumerable times in salah. Allah says, the night as it envelops. What does the night envelop? The night envelops all of humanity. When the night falls, everything becomes dark. When the night falls, it becomes extremely dark within the entire world. So Allah says in the Quran, وَاللَّيْلِ إِذَا يَغْشَى The night when it envelops all of the world. Then Allah continues and He says, وَالنَّهَارِ إِذَا تَجَلَّى وَالنَّهَارِ إِذَا تَجَلَّى And the day when it becomes bright. And the interesting thing is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says tajalla using the verb form tafa'ala which has a connotation of something occurring gradually. So if you sit in the morning time, as I was doing just this morning, you sit in the morning time and you look at the eastern horizon of the sky, you will notice that the sun is coming out slowly, it will be coming out slowly and as it gradually appears, gradually the nahar, the morning time also appears along with the gradual progression of the sun. وَالنَّهَارِ إِذَا تَجَلَّى so these are two things, two concepts, the night and the day. If you go to the youngest of children, maybe my daughter, the message with the night and day because this is one difference that I know that you know that every single one of us knows but then he continues to something he knew people are going to differ about and he says وَمَا خَلَقَ الذَّكَرَ وَالْأُنثَى وَمَا خَلَقَ الذَّكَرَ وَالْأُنثَى and I also swear so Allah is swearing first and foremost by the night then he swears by the day then he swears a third he takes a third oath and he says and also by the creation of the male and the female. And why does he do this? Why does he take an oath now a third time between something, that it, two things that are opposites as well? Essentially, he talked about the day and the night, or the night and the day, two things that are opposites. Then now he spoke about another two things, both of which are also opposites. The reason for that, dear brother, dear viewer, dear sister, is because of the fact that we as man and woman upon this earth, or men and women upon this earth, we have separate tasks. We aim for the hereafter, yes we do. That is one goal that, we, that unites us. But the tasks that we have been appointed, or we have been you know, given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are separate tasks. Rather the tasks that nature has given us are also different. Nature, i.e., the nature that we see around us, otherwise everything is the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The tasks that we by nature have are totally different. Al Ummu Madrasatun Ida Adattaha Adatta Sha'ban Tayyib al Araqi. A woman, a poet says, a woman or a mother is a school all by herself. If you prepare the school well, you would have prepared a humanity really, really well. The next generation is very, very dependent on the woman. We're at the crossroads of a time where the woman is manipulated for different purposes. You go outside, you see billboards, signs that you know you always have to hide your kids' eyes from, sight from, gaze from. You yourself have to lower your gaze. You look up, you look down, every direction you see, there's something that you're not supposed to be looking at. There's something that you wish your family was preserved from. This is a tough time. This is a time where we have to realize this message in this verse, that Allah discusses the day and the night. Then He talks about two other opposites, وَمَا خَلَقَ الذَّكَرَ وَالْأُنثَى And then He gives 
the reason why he had taken this oath to begin with. You, O man, you, O woman, you have two different tasks upon this land. The way you're going to strive is going to be totally different. A man is not like a woman and a woman is not like a man. They're two different entities. When it comes to the tasks that we have to undertake, I cannot do the type of things that my wife does. I have to tell you, just for the past two days, my wife has been sick. I'm going crazy because I'm taking care of everything at home. And vice versa. Women will tell you when they step out of the house and they start taking control and they start taking charge of the responsibility that the man is obliged by Islam to take care of, i.e. earning the bread, i.e. taking care of everything outside, i.e. making sure that the family is preserved and safe, the woman also gets exhausted. Because Allah has created two different creations for two different tasks. Otherwise, we would have either all been men or all been women. There wouldn't have been a difference. And this is my message to you, Abdul Wahab Sadim. Make sure that you recognize the difference between man and woman. Don't play with it. We don't have to look down upon one another. But what we have to do is we have to cherish, we have to respect, and we have to understand our roles upon this planet. وَصَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَى سَيِّدِنَا مُحَمَّدٍ وَعَلَى آلِهِ وَصَحْبِهِ أَجْمَعِينَ